Morgan here from the very unofficial travel guides and I'm here in the harbor city of Kujarasi in Turkey. here on Royal Korean's Mariner of the Seas, a gigantic ship, and uh, the harbor is right here in the city. Uh, very easy access. You basically just get right off the ship, walk down the pier, and you are in the city and ready to explore the culture of Turkey. We decided to do a self-guided tour in Kujadasi and followed some advice to catch the city buses up to the ruins. The ship docked here, and we walked through the market to the main bus stop here. Oh, and speaking of buses, they look like this. And can get really crowded. Be sure to watch part two to see what I mean. Once you get in the bus to Ephesus, oh, and by the way, there are plenty of people to ask which bus is the right one, you just hand your money up to the driver after the journey begins. When we were there in April of 2011, it cost five Turkish lira for one way, which is about three US dollars. Then we were on our way up the coastline, packed in an oversized van with poorly performing shocks on our way to the ruins. We did pass two really awesome looking water parks, so if you're into that and the weather's right, consider that too. The city buses take you to this intersection, and from there you just follow the signs and other tourists on the 10 minute walk to the lower entrance of the ruins. At the base of the ruins, there's a parking lot and a vibrant market area. You have to buy a ticket to enter, and when we were there it was 20 lira, which is about 11 US dollars, and there are modern toilets and facilities. Walking here through the Greek, the ancient Greek city of Ephesus, outside of Kujadasi in Turkey, and uh, it's really cool. It's one of the biggest uh, complete ruins, basically, that you can find, and it's really easy when you walk through here to imagine the people, you know, imagine what it was like to live here, have the streets and the markets and the theater and the temples and the library. There's big pieces of all of it still, and uh, it's cool. Check it out. Ephesus contains the largest collection of Roman ruins in the eastern Mediterranean, including this absolutely enormous amphitheater, which could apparently seat 44,000 people. I think they had smaller butts back then, but still, it's huge. Also located here were the Temple of Artemis, the Temple of Hadron, the Tomb of St. John the Apostle, and the Library of Celsius, which is amazingly intact. Take a look at this facade. Can anyone translate that for me? I was totally blown away by Ephesus, and if I could do anything differently, I would have read up a little more on the historical and especially religious significance of the city before I went. Also, I would have not teased this rabid cat with my bagel. Oh, and in addition, I would have walked back down to the bus stop through the ruins and not tried to take a shortcut by exiting through the upper gates and walking back down around the hill. Especially not when it's about to start dumping rain from the sky. Check out part two to see exactly what I mean.